this the, the absence of the predecessors with Paul, the successors to appear. Remember the right thought process. Should be one consciousness disappear, another consciousness will appear. Otherwise, it's no change. This means just the absence condition. It's the meaning here. Samanandra Niruddha. Jitta Jirasika Dhamma. This means consciousness and its concomitant which have just ceased in Kanyudi. This Padukpana Nang Chitta Chirasika Nang Dhamma Nang is related to the presence, consciousness and its concomitant by presence. absence condition. Please just remember the thought process. I do thought process. Remember that, right? Dita Bhuanga Bhuanga Charana Bhungu Pichita Banjadara Vujana Jaku Vinyana Sambri Chana Sandirana Vodhapana and Jawana and so on. In a society, it's really a fair. People they fight for position, right? They fight for position to get this position. To let someone start, you know, uh, resign, or someday lay off someone, something like that. Just uh, they want position. You want to put someone in this position, something like that. should be someone absence. This absence condition. Some country they try to kill their leader. Why? They try to kill their leader. Because the, there was another leader. Something like that. <coughs> and we got that, but you. We got that, but you here. We got that is mean disappearance. Disappearance. Really. <laughs> This uh, nati bajio absence condition and wigada bajio disappearance condition is set. It's identical. See the absence and disappearance. Why the Buddha have to say it again, teach it again? Say that. Stabali, Samanara, we got that chitta chitta sika dhamma. Padupa, nana chitta chitta sika nan dhamma, we got that bhaji, na bhaji, or the same. That depends on listener, the audience. Someone is the Buddha explained about nati bhajiyo, absence condition. They understand right away. But you say, we got that bhajiyo, maybe they don't understand. And some, you say, absence condition is not clear to their mind. You say, we got that bhajiyo, this, this experience condition, I mean, they know right away. So different listener. It depends on the wish of this uh, listener. 
that would have to explain again, even that the meaning, the nature, is identical. So I would like all of us to read or we get up. But you. <coughs> we got a banjayo di Samanandra, we got a jinda jida zika dama, but do bananam jida jida zika nam dama nam. We got a banjayina banjayo. The meaning is Samanandra Vigada Jitta Jitta Zikadama. Consciousness and its concomitant, which have just dis disappeared in continuity, are related to the presence, consciousness, and its concomitant by this appearance condition. You see that consciousness and its concomitant have just disappeared, just disappears immediately. The present consciousness is concomitant. Right. Same thing with Nati Bajio. Your disappearance condition apply only to the mental phenomenon. It's not no matter here, just only the consciousness, like mental phenomena. This consciousness and its concomitant can arise only when the preceding consciousness and its concomitant disappear. It's like another example. Nati is mean absence. And we get that is a uh, disappear. Like some couple, maybe husband, they separate, you know, they separate. It's long time, just the husband absence, be absence for many, many years. But the wife cannot get married, marriage again. without divorce. Still have the divorce, right? After they make divorce, and then the, star, the lady can, can get marriage again. Here, the same thing. Just absence, it's not enough. That should be just a ubada arising Tidi, continuing, Banga, disappearing after this uh, uh, whitey <coughs> disappear, and then another consciousness can arise. And like the, the woman, just husband's, uh, you know, absence, she cannot get married, yeah, she have to, according to the law, a divorce, and then she can marry again. We 
And are we got up by you? Ask that for example, or we got up by you. <coughs> it's like the, the absence of the sun. The absence of the sun contributes to appearance of the moon. Even today is the full moon day. If sun still is to have sun, the moon cannot release its light. And after this experience of sun and the moon can release its light. Just for example. And for the Awigata Bajio, is identical with the present condition. All parties are the same. This according to the audience, listener, as the Buddha have to explain it again as the Awigata Bajio. Awigata Bajio is mean non disappearance condition. Non disappearance but it's mean present. Right? Present condition. I will get up by you here. <coughs> it's like the ocean where fish delight. It's not the great ocean. But its non disappearance contributes to the happiness of Fish. It's no ocean. If the ocean is not there, the fish cannot live. Right? That's why it's like the, it's the ocean where fish delight. In the same way, By the non disappearance of some phenomenon is a condition for other phenomena to arise. It's maybe pre nascent condition, pre nascent condition, remember, pre nascent condition as eye sensitivity and so on. This pre nascent condition, they arise first. Eye consciousness and so on, they arise later. This is called pre nascent condition. Co nascent condition, this Vedana, Sanya, Sankara, and Vinyana, the co nascent condition, they arise together. And without Vinyana, this is Vedana, Sanya, Sankara can arise. It's by this non disappearance of this phenomenon, this uh, sport, other phenomena to arise. And without eye sensitivity, no eye consciousness arise, something like that. So, this is the last one. The last paragraphs I will order us to read for one time together. Awe gana banjayo ni jadaro kanda arumi no anya manyam. Awe gana banjena banjayo. Jandaro Mabuna Anya Manyam Awinganda Banjayena Banjayo O Gande Gane Nama Arumam Anya Manyam Wing 
Bajio. For Ati Bajio, we already study about the nature, but here we just review it again roughly. <coughs> Jadaro kana arubino. Four incorporeal aggregates are mutually related to one another by non-disappearance condition. This is Jadaro Kanda Arubino Anya Minyo. This is a condition, as connaissance condition. They rise together. This is a mental aggregate with an asanya, sankara, and vinyana. And they support each other by non disappearance condition. This present condition. And Chadaro Kanda Chadaro Mahabuddha Anya Manyang Avigada Bajayina Bajayo. The four great essential are mutually related to one another by non disappearance condition. It's four great essential, but we are body Jawaya, as you know. They support each other by non-disappearance condition. She know, but we are elements. The remaining other elements can arise. Should be support each other mutually. And Okan de Kane na Marubang Anya Manyang Awe Gada Bajay na Bajayo. At the moment of conception, mentality and corporealities are mutually related to each other by non-disappearance condition. As all of you know, at the moment of conception, we are rebirth consciousness and its concomitant is mentality. And three decades, sex decades, heart decades, and body decades is the couple realities, they support each other by non-disappearance condition. Without rebirth consciousness, the other's couple realities cannot survive. Now, without the rupa, just the mentality, rebirth consciousness cannot uh, survive. They support each other. And Chidda Chirasika Dhamma Chidda Samudha Nanang Rupa Nang Avikada Bajayina Bajayo. Consciousness and its concomitants are related to mind produced matter by non disappearance condition. This means consciousness and its concomitants as the cause. This uh, mind produces matter as effect. This mind produces matter without consciousness can arise. This is non disappearance condition. I thought in detail we already study about that. Mahabuddha Uba Daru Banang Awigada Bajayina Bajayo. The great essential are related to their derived matters by non-disappearance condition. Derived matters, 24, they have to depend on great essential. By non-disappearance of this great essential, as for others, derived matter to arise. This by non-disappearance condition. And Chakaya Ranam Jaku Vinyana Daduya Dan Sambayudaka Nam Jak Dhamma Nam Awigada Bajayina Bajayo. I base 
is related to eye consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. This means by non-disappearance of eye base, eye sensitivity, this eye consciousness and its concomitant arise. And so da yara nang so da winya na da du ya tang sambayu da ka nang cha dhamma nang awi gada bhajaye na bhajayo. Ear base is related to ear consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. The same thing. Right? By non-disappearance of ear sensitivity, ear base, and then ear consciousness and its concomitant arise. Without ear sensitivity, no ear consciousness will arise. And ga na yara na ga na winya na da du ya dang sambayu da ka nan cha dhamma nang awi ga da bhajaye na bhajayo. No space is related to knows consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. Without no, no space, no sensitivity, no knows consciousness and its concomitants to rise. And jinwa yara nang jinwa winya na da du ya dang sambayu da ka nang ja dhamma nang awi ka da bhajaye na bhajayo. Tongue base is related to tongue consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. The meaning is the same. Kaya yara nang kaya winya na da du ya dang sambayu da ka nang ja dhamma nang awi ka da bhajaye na bhajayo. Body base is related to body consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. This I base, ear base, nose base, tongue base, body base, they arise first. And then ear conscious, eye conscious, and so on can arise later. This is what we call pre-nascence condition. When we study Puri Jada Bajiyo, this pre-nascence condition. This eye consciousness and so on have to depend on eye base, eye sensitivity, what is already arises before. And rubaya ranang jaku winyana da duya dang sambayu daka nanja dhamma nang awi gada bhajayi na bhajayo. Whisper objects is related to eye consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. Even you have eye sensitivity, eye base, it's no whisper object. Just the eye consciousness cannot arise. So by non-disappearance of this whisper object, your eye consciousness can arise. By non-disappearance condition. And sada yara nang so da winya na da du ya dang sambayu da ka nang ja dhamma nang awi ka da bhajaye na bhajayo. Sound object is related to ear consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. Even you have ear base, ear sensitivity, it's no sound. Peer. This the ear consciousness can arise. This ear consciousness, 
the arising of this ego consciousness has depend on this uh, avigata vajjiyo, non disappearance condition. And gana yarana gana winyana dadu ya dang samayuda gana ja dhamma nang avigata vajjiyo na vajjiyo. Smell object is related to nose consciousness and is concomitant by non-disappearance condition. Even though you have no sensitivity, no space, if no smell, this nose consciousness and is concomitant can arise. Rasairanam chinwa winyana dadu ya dang sambayu daga nanja dhamma nang awi gada bajaye na bajayo. This object is related to tongue consciousness and is concomitant by non disappearance condition. We can call non disappearance or non separation. Same. Not separation condition. Poda bayara nang kaya winyana dadu ya dang sambayu daga nanja dhamma nang awi gada bajaye na bajayo. Tangible object is related to body consciousness and its concomitants by way of non-disappearance condition. Even you have body sensitivity, if you no know tangible object, something come to attach to it, touch your body, you cannot feel it. Or soft or hard. So And Rubairanam, Sadaranam, Gandaranam, Rasaranam, Podabairanam, Mano Dadu Ya, Sang Samayo Dagananja, Damanam, Awigada, Bajayena, Bajayo. Rubairanam is whisper object, Sadaranam, Sound object, Gandaranam, Smell object, Rasaranam, Taste object, Podabaranam, Tangible object. These five objects are related to Manoda Duya, my element. Panjadara Vichana and Sambarichana too. Bang Sambayuta Gananja Dhammanang is the concomitance, tenth Jirasika mental state. Avigada Bajayina Bajayo by way of non disappearance condition. This means non disappearance of these five objects with support the mind elements to arise. The last one, Yang Rubang Nisaya. And depending on this couple realities, this meta Rupa. Mano da du ja, my element. Three. Mano winyana da du ja, my consciousness element. Here, 72. What done the rise? This is mano da du and mano winyana da du, my element and my consciousness element arise. Depending on. This matter, couple of realities. Tang rubani saya mano dadu ja mano winyana dadu ja. Tang samayu daka nanja dhamma nang awi gada bajayi na bajayo. That couple of reality is related to mano dadu and mano winyana dadu and their concomitants by way of non-disappearance condition. 
is briefly the meaning here by non disappearance of Rupa. Here is the according to commentary, heart, heart base. Depend on heart base. This mano dadu, mano yana dadu arise. No heart base. This mano dadu and mano yana dadu can arise. This means by non disappearance of heart. Mano dadu and mano yana dadu. And their concomitants arise. But all this the bajaya nidhi so niti do is mean bajaya's condition. Nidhi nidhi so is the detail, or uh, the detail of this the twenty-four condition. Niti do finish. Niti do is finish. <coughs> so. As we study so far, from Hedu Bajayo root condition until Avigada Bajayo non disappearance condition, what she's talking about? Mentality and physicality, how they related each other as cause and effect. There's no person here. By this person, by this person, it's just talking about it. By man or woman, it's not talking about it. Just the, the phenomena of mind and matter. Just phenomena, just nature. And here, all the 24 conditions, is briefly, Reducible to the four conditions. So I would like orange to write it down. Notice 24 conditions are included in the relation of Aramana. Aramana, you know, Aramana object condition. And Upa Nisaya, Upa Nisaya, this powerful dependence condition. Or we call it Upa Nisaya, decisive support condition. And Kama, this Kama condition. Ati, presence condition. So briefly, only four conditions, right? Aramana, Upanisya, Kama, and Ati. At home, you study it. Whatever condition you, you study, it consists into maybe Aramana, maybe Upanisya, maybe Kama, maybe Ati. They just brief only four conditions. So all the 24 relations are included in the relation of Aramana object condition, Upanisya powerful dependence condition, Kama, Kama condition, and Ati presence condition.
Now I would like to summarize all this 24 relation. Uh, the book I give to you, page 88, that's the, not necessary to read, that's okay. Okay, later, just uh, you will understand. Because in the book, just uh, briefly explain about this Batana. But we study since the Hedu Bajyo and the Avigada Bajyo in detail. It's uh, very easy for all of us to understand. Just for a summary, I would like all of you to write it. Mind. So, mind is related to mind in six ways. Mind is related to mind in six ways. Six ways means six conditions. Here is even say mind, you should understand mind is mean nama, right? Nama. Nama is mean jitta and jitta sika is mean nama. So what is the six ways? I write you write it down. Six ways. Six ways means six condition. Anandra. Write in Pali. You know it, oh, up to you. You want write in English that's fine. Anandra. Sama Anandra. Asewana Sambayuta Nati and Wikata Anandra Sama Anandra Asewana Sambayuta Nati and Wikata This mind is related to mind. This means the mind is a cause. The mind is effect. The meaning, right? Mind is the cause, mind is effect. See? Or Anandra. You Anandra, only Anandra. Just talking about the mind only about thought processes. Right? Anandara, Samanara, Asewana, just thought processes. Sambayuta, Nati, we get the same. This applies to the mentality only. That's why mind is the cause, mind is the effect for this uh, six condition. That's why we write it down. Mind is related to mind in six ways. Because we already study about it, we no need to, you know, explain it again. And number two, mind is related to mind and matter. Mind is related to mind and matter in five ways. Mind is related to mind and matter in five ways. Mean, mind is the cause. Mind and matter is the effect. In five ways mean in five conditions. What is the five condition? Please write it down. Hedu. Jhana. Magga. Kama. And Vipaka. For example, Hedu, right? Hedu, Hedu, Sambayu, Daka, Nang, Dhamma, Nang, Tang, Samutana, Nang, Cha, Ruba, Nang, Hedu, Baji, Na, Baji, Yo. Hedu is the sixth root, this Nama, it's mine, right? Hedu, Sambayu, Daka, Nang, Dhamma, Nang, it means their just uh, consciousness, and their concomitance, and mind produces matter, you see that? Just uh, mind is the cause, mind and matter, both mind and matter is the effect. This means mind is related to mind and matter in six ways, a six condition. And number three, mind is related to matter only. 
mind is related to matter only in one way. This means mind is the cause, matter is the effect. It's only one way, only one condition. What is one condition? Pachajata. Pachajata. Mind is the cause, matter is the effect. Pachajata, post nascent condition. This is our body still survive under now because mind. This body arise before. Uh, before and mind just sport later. Sport is the body. That's why mind is the, the cause, the body is the effect. Only one condition, right? So mind is related to matter only in one way. Number four, matter is related to mind only in one way. Matter is related to mind only in one way. In one way is me one condition. Puri jata pachiyo. Pre-nessence condition. This matter is the cause. Mind is the effect. When we study puri jata pachiyo, you say, Chakaranang Chaku, Unyana, Dadu, Ya, and so on. Chakaranang, this eye sensitivity, ear sensitivity, and so on. That's the cause. This eye consciousness, and so on, is the effect. It's the mind. So, matter is the cause. Consciousness is the effect. So, Matter is related to mind only in one way, a one condition. So, buri jata bajiyo. And number five, concepts, mind, and matter. Concept, mind, and matter are related to mind in two ways. And two ways mean two conditions, Aramana and Upanisaya. Aramana is object condition, Upanisaya is mean powerful dependence condition. And when we study about Aramana and Upanisaya, this a concept, mind and matter is the cause. And mind is effect. Remember concept? Pukalobi uba nisaya bajayena bajayo. Remember that, right? Pukalobi is the, the person. Uh, this, uh, this concept. And when you study object condition, this our mind can take the concept as object. That's why concept, mind, and matter, this as the cause, mind is the effect. In two ways. Two conditions, Aramna and Upanisaya. And number six, mind and matter are related to mind and matter. Mind and matter are related to mind and matter in nine ways. It's nine conditions. This means mind and matter is the cause, mind and matter is the effect. It's equal. Mind and matter are related to mind and matter in nine ways. What are they? Nine ways. Adibadi. Sahajada. Anya manya. You can even do right. 
correctly, look at the first page, the thankful condition. Adibri, Sajada, Anya, Manya, Nisaya, Ahara, Indriya, Vipayuta, Ati, and Avigata. 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 What is that is today? Avigata. The cause is mind and matter. That's mind and matter. And the uh, state effect is mind and matter. So, mind and matter are related to mind and matter in nine ways, nine conditions. Adibadi, Sajada, Anyamanya, Nisaya, Ahara, Indriya, Vipayuta, Ati, and Avigata. This uh, is <coughs> a summary of causal relations. Really, in the book I gave you, just mention only this. What we study is not in the book, you know. Just uh, I try to explain to all of you. But after you, you pick it or one is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the mind related to my mind related to uh, a matter and so on. What are they? How related? If you read that the book I give you, you will understand right away. The summary of this uh, 24 condition. So, for Padana, we are finished this. So, since we study, since chapter one, until this uh, Padana. Cause relation, what is she talking about? She's talking about realities, about consciousness, about Kirisika mental state, about the Rupa matter, about the Nibbana realities. So now what we have to study again, the The remaining things we call concept. You know, the remaining from realities, the concept. So we should understand the concept too. That's why I give the shit, right? Concept about the concept. <coughs> this concept in Pali they call. Panyati. Panyati. This Panyati, we have two Panyati, two concepts. One concept is called Atta Panyati. The Atta Panyati. Another one is the Nama Panyati or Sadda Panyati. Please remember Nama Panyati and Sadda Banyati, the same. Sadda. Sadda. S A D D A. Sadda. Yes, Sadda. Nama is mean name. Right? Sadda is mean sound. So Nama Banyati and Sadda Banyati, the same. Here, Nama here. We already started since chapter one, Nama, what we call Nama, Rupa, and so on. This Nama here, one, that depends on inclines towards the object. 
Mm-hmm. Bend and incline toward the object is called Nama. What are they? Jitta and Jitta Sika. Jitta, Jitta is in consciousness. Jitta Sika is mental state. This consciousness and mental state can bend and incline toward the object. For example, now you think about your family and your home. Bend to the object. You see your house, you see your family. Uh, it just means snama. Well, why, why we call jitta and jitta sika as nama? Because it bends and inclines toward the object. You think about something else, you know, the person or the thing, and you get, your mind can incline into toward the object. That's why we call it nama. And uh, really is nama here, when we study chapter one, we have jitta and jitta sika, nibbana, the three of these things we call nama, right? But for us, the meanings that bends and incline toward the object only jitta and jitta sika. Nibbana cannot bend to the object. And number two, is the one that causes others to bend or incline toward itself. Let the, you know, uh, others to bend to itself. I explain to you, this is the jitta, jitta sika, and nibbana. For nibbana. Nibbana is the, is the cause to you know, let others to bend and to do it itself. That's the maga jitta. Pet consciousness or fruit or consciousness. This mind, this consciousness bend to nibbana. Nibbana as object, right? As object. It's like let's the this the maga pala jitta and bend and inclines towards to nibbana. And how about jitta and jitta sika? Even jitta and consciousness and mental state slash the others jitta and jitta sika bend to them. For example, you say, oh, that person is the have great wisdom. Wisdom is wisdom, jitta sika. Right, it gives you a wisdom. So you think about that person wisdom. This means yom less the jitta and jitta sika bend into itself. That's oh, this person get good heart. Good heart is loving kindness. That's metta, adosa. If that person has very good heart, maybe you say that person has a lot of wholesome consciousness. Kusala. That's why. Jitta and Jitta Sika and Nama here is the, the cause that the others to bend and climb toward this. That's called we call Nama too. Jitta, Jitta Sika and Nibbana. The three of those called Nama for the meaning of Nama. Now we study Panyati. Uh, Atta Panyati and Nama Panyati. Here, Adha Panyati hears that which is made known. If you just uh, remember this word, not enough. You know, I make it easy for you. Adha Panyati is the meaning. Nama Panyati is the name. For example, you call Ajahn Chaya. What kind of banyati? Nama. Nama banyati. Sadda banyati. Same word, right? Sadda banyati. When you say, Ajahn Chaya. Or you say, Ajahn Chaya. Just marry no right away. Who's Ajahn Chaya? The meaning. No what? No atta banyati. Right? That's why here, Nama banyati here, that's the, the name is given to the object. My body is Myself is the object. Right? It's that the name is given to the object. It's the Ajahn Chaya. Someone know that. So the Adha Banyan is uh, the object is conveyed by the concept. Because you see Ajahn Chaya is conveyed by the concept. What concept? 
Nama Banyati, and you know Atta Banyati. For a briefly, a fun detail we will study. We are Atta Banyati 6, Nama Banyati 6. So whenever you talk about, you know, when you hear one word, you know right away what kind of this Nama Banyati or Atta Banyati. What is detail, you know right away. So we study just the Buddhist philosophy, not only reality, we should know the concept too. The remaining, you know, start from this reality is the concept. So now we study Atta Banyati first. Or Atta Banyati in Bali called Sandana Banyati. In, uh, you we should remember in English it's better, right? Sandana is mean formal, Banya is concept, formal concept. Na sandana Banyadi is mean formal concept. Write it down first, right? Uh, Samuha Banyadi is mean collective concept. Collective concept. Sata Banyati is a personal concept. The Disa Banyati is local concept. Kala Banyati Tam concept. Tam. Akasa Banyati, space concept. Kasina Banyati, this Kasina Banyati <coughs> should be. Just like a casino concept, right? Casino is mean or visualized image and so on. When place, have you studied about that? The casino. Maybe you heard about casino, right? Casino when place. Yes, casino at all. Casino. The visualized. Image. It's a mental sign, right? Mental sign. Okay. Sandana Banyati is the land, mountain, and so on. A car, formal concept. The formal concept. Why we call land, mountain as a formal concept? Because they correspond to the form of things. It's the mode of the respective elements. You see, we have all this land, this mountain. Where is that? What kind of element? At this inseparable element A. You see, the flat of land. The flat is the land. You see all this land. If the land has like mountain, you know, big, and then you get this mountain. It's made mountain is the same level. You cannot say it's mountain. You see the land. What's the obvious element? Or element? Or element? If the water element is obvious, you cannot call mountain. You cannot call land. You call river or ocean, water. Just element, right? As they correspond to the form of things or the mode of the respective elements, then we call it land and mountain and so on. How about the collective concept? House, chariots, car, village, city, state, country, and so on. What we call 
this collective concept because they, they correspond to a collection of things. That's the, the mode of formation of materials at house, physical house. We have cement, we have wood, we have the many, many things to combine together. This formation of these materials, and we call house. If we separate the different pieces, we cannot call house. Right? That's why we call this uh, the mode of formation of materials called collective concept at house or church, car, village. If only have only one house, we cannot call it village. Yeah, you know, it's about 50, 100 houses, and we call it village. It's more than that, we call it city, more than that, we call it state, country, and so on. By the, this, the mode of formation of materials. And personal concept, already, man woman, individual, and so on. There is no man, no woman here, no individual, no person here. But by the count of the five aggregates, there's only five aggregates. So they correspond to the combination of these five aggregates that's called man and woman individual. This is called personal concept. And this uh, local concept east, west, south, north, and so on, the direction. This according to the revolution of the moon, sun, star. And we call this east side this direction, this west, right, is the, according to the revolution of the moon and sun. Our world is not square. That's the bottom, right? That's the bottom. In no direction, but we call sun, the sunrise mountain. Uh, you see, you know, sunset, something like that. Uh, that depend on the the revolution of the sun and the moon and star and so on. And Kala Banyadi here, time concept. It's the morning or noon or evening or night. Also according to the revolution of the moon, the sun, the star. This concept. Now what time here? Morning. Right? How about the Asian country? Night, you see? They say, oh, this night. They're right, this concept. You know? Here's the morning concept. Depend on the, the, according to the, the revolution of moon and sun, star. That's why we call it concept. And space concept. It's a well, cave, hole, and so on. Because they, they correspond to open space, non-impact, see, hole, you see, well, the cave. And Kasina, here, Kasina Panyati, Kasina sign, we will study later, just a visualized image, conceptualized image, since they correspond to mental science gained by mental development. What is the meaning of visualized image and conceptualized image we'll study later. When we study price the tranquility meditation, you see the form, the star, your, the sign, mental sign, even you close your eye, you see that 
we call visualized image. And when you gain the jhana absorption and the, the, the sign, we call conceptual, conceptualized image. And they just color, let's, let's the, the light the issue from the, the sign. A casina banyati. Just os atta banyati. So all these atta banyatis, although they do not exist in realities, they still become the object of thought. Right? They are understood. When you say this, it's made known. You know what you're talking about. You start this morning, you know right away. This morning, when we study reality, it's no morning, right? It's not consistent into uh, realities, but still make no. You can understand it. And nama panyati, nama panyati, or sada panyati, six here for knowledge, you know. You, in Pali, they call Vijamana Panyati. Vijamana, please write it down first, you know, or just the translation of this the Pali. Vijamana is mean a real concept. Vijamana is real. Panya is concept, a real concept. Number two, Avijamani na Panya is mean an unreal concept. Number three, Vijamani na Avijamana Panyati. It's an unreal concept by means of real. And number four, Awija mani na wija mana banyadi is mean a real concept by means of an unreal concept. I explain to you later. Number five, wija mani na wija mana banyadi is mean real concept by means of real concept. I just want to let you know the translation, their nature I'll explain to you later. And number six, Aujamanina, Aujamana Banyati is mean, and unreal concepts by means of unreal. Let me take example, it's very easy. <coughs> For the first one, just uh, a real concept. What are real concepts? Rupa, Vedana, Sanya, Sankara, Vijnana, and so on. When you say, you say Rupa, you, you say Vedana. This Rupa, Vedana, and so on, they make known by a term. They exist in reality. Just real that you see? Rupa consists in to Rupa. Vedana consists to Jirasiga, you see that, right? That's why Rupa Vedana is consists in realities. And Adi makes sense. That's why we call a real concept. And number two, an unreal concept is mean earth, mountain, and so on. Earth mountain is do not exist in realities. No earth, just Patoi, right? No earth in what we study in so far. No mountain here, just animals, you know. So this earth mountain and so on, not, they do not exist in realities. That's why we call an unreal concept. How about three? This three is uh, two words. You know, this two words, to combine the two words. If, for example, here, 
cha la pinya. Cha la cha is mean six pinya is mean supernormal knowledge. This mean possessors of the six word pinya is mean possessor of supernormal knowledge. Who are possessed? This is a supernormal knowledge. Here, possessor, person, no person in reality, no person, right? But chala binya, six supernormal knowledge, this in reality, this exists in reality. That's why this, this word, this the person, this the, the person, the possessor, it does not exist in reality. But the sixth abhinya, supernormal knowledge, the supernormal knowledge is consists into reality. That's why an unreal concept by means of real concept. Number four is woman's voice. See? Woman voice. Woman voice, the woman's is not consist in reality. Voice, where is voice? Sada. Sada, sound, right? Sada is the, consists in the reality. That's why this word, this combination of these two words, one word is not exists in reality. Another word consists in reality. That's why we call his a real concepts by means of and unreal concepts. And number five, eye consciousness. Eye sensitivity consists into realities. Consciousness, it consists into reality. Just two words, I and consciousness, is a vijamana in a vijamana banyati. It's the real concepts by means of real. See? The last one, king son. King is not consistent in the realities. Son is not consistent in the reality. This two words, it's king son, is a board, you know, this word. It's not consistent in realities. So when we say something, you hear some word, some sound, you know what kind of nama panya, what kind of sada panya. Consists into the six. But when you say, maybe, uh, consists in the reality, maybe not consists in the reality, maybe it's just two words or three words, we combine together, maybe one of those maybe consists in reality, maybe one of or those are two of those not consist in the realities. Depend, let's put their name. Here we call Sada Banyati or Nama Banyati. Here, <coughs> when we hear some word, for example, you say, man. It's man says Sada Banyati, Nama Banyati, man. When we hear man, your thought process just Ear, dot, dot process will arise. Right? That's ear, dot, dot, dot process. And then, the ear consciousness thought process takes the present sound, man. And the immediately, this after the ear consciousness thought process disappears. This mind or thought process taking the past sound, the man, it will arise. This, man, this mind or thought process will arise. And mind or thought process taking the name, which is the man, what is the man? The sadap, nama panyati. And then mind or thought process taking the meaning.